Praise the Lord. Hello, my name is Sister Debbie Miranda. I'm going to recite to you some of God's promises for healing. Isaiah 53 says, By Jesus' stripes we are healed. And this is a promise that we can stand on. Whether you're seeking healing, or maybe you've been healed, or maybe you're just standing on the promises of God for your healing and just claiming those promises. These words are for you. These are God's words. In St. John chapter 5, verse 14, it says, And the Word became flesh and dwelled among us. God's words today are God's promises that he has left for us and we can meditate on those same words day and night and ingrain them in our hearts and instill them in our hearts and they can become flesh to us when we meditate day and night they will become a part of us they will become flesh to us. We praise God for his word. And the scripture says, confession is made unto salvation. When we know the word of God and we confess the word of God, it makes the word of God even more powerful. Satan is a liar, and he, he must know, we know what God says. He must be aware that we have knowledge concerning God's word, concerning the promise that he has for us as his child, his children. We are God's children. We are a child of God, and in every family, there is a certain inheritance that comes with the name, that family name. And we, we are in the family of God, and we know our Father's name, and with that name comes inheritance. So these promises are promises inherited to us we have become born and believers. Satan must know that we know this. And we also must confess to the world. If you have received healing, you need to be confessing it to the world. When you receive your healing, those who need healing, when you receive that healing, you need to confess it to the world because the world must know that there is healing. There is healing by the power of God and there is healing today. The world must know this so then they can, too, they can say too, if he was healed or if she have been healed, then if God has done this to them, then he can surely do this to me. So I invite you to journey with me through the promises of God. We'll start with Exodus 15, 26. And said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. He is the Lord that healeth us. He healed in the Bible days, and he healed today, because these are promises that are for us. These promises were written thousand years ago, but they are for us as children of God. Exodus 23, 25 says, And ye shall serve the Lord your God, 
and he shall bless thy bread and thy waters, and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. Blessed promise. Deuteronomy 7, verse 14 and 15. Thou shalt be blessed above all people. There shall not be male or female bearing among you, or among your cattle. And the Lord will take away from thee all sickness, and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt, which thou knowest, upon thee, but will lay them upon all them that hate thee. Blessed promise, he not only blesses us, he blesses everything that we own. And he says, male or female among you, neither one shall be barren or your cattle. He's just not concerned with us. He's concerned with everything that we put our hands on, everything that we own, because everything that we own is God. And he wants to bless us. We are his children. Deuteronomy 30, verse 19 through 20. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life, that both thou and thy seed may live, that thou mayest love the Lord thy God, and that thou mayest obey his voice, and that thou mayest cleave unto him. For he is thy life, and the length of thy days. Hallelujah. That thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord swear unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob to give them. Hallelujah. These are promises. The promises of God. He tells us that he have, have called heaven and earth to record this day against us. That he has set before us life and death, blessings and cursings. God gives us a free choice. It's our decision which way we choose to go in life. But God also gives us instructions. He tells us to choose life. You see, God is concerned about his children. Just as a parent, a mother or father will be concerned about their children, they will give them instruction. If, if, if a parent really cares about a child, that parent will give instruction to that, to that child so that child can know that there is a wrong way and there is a right way. But those instruction will be geared to help that child to go the right way. And this is how God does with his children. He tells us to choose life. And we know the Bible is full of life. It is full of instruction to us. And we live in a covenant. We're a covenant people with God. And he has promises for us. And he tells us to choose life. That thou and thy seed may live. Hallelujah. He wants us to live. 1 King 8, verse 56. Bless the Lord that hath given rest unto his people Israel. According to all that he promised, there have not failed one word of all his good promise. He promised by the hand of Moses, his servant. According to all that he promised. And we know that there is a lot of promise that God gives us. Okay.